everyone, welcome back to the Jack Chapel Show and today I'm going to be showing you another way to build up your wealth to one million dollars. The next one I'm going to show you is, is a little bit more common. It's for people that are generally highly paid employees, but not like crazy, like CEO levels kind of thing. So I'm going to kind of, I'm going to show you some examples here. So, um, what is this way? Well, it's a lot more common for most people and that is saving. Despite what you may think, saving is, it's not bad. I mean, I know I rip on it a lot, but cause there's better ways for you to make money. But, um, yeah, I know. I actually do know, especially one of my doctors. Um, my doctor, here, I'll give you an example. My doctor makes about $170,000 a year. Doesn't really invest much, you know, occasionally invests in bonds or stocks, but he says like, no, he just saves a lot of his money. He, he's worth over a million dollars right now. He's been in the medical field for about 25 years and he's a million. Uh, actually, what's kind of funny is that um, doctors are one of the poorest in terms of wealth in the country in Canada, at least, because what happens is when you're a doctor, um, obviously you have a bunch of loans for medical school, right? But they have one of the higher um, um, lifestyle inflations. Doctors, for whatever reason, because they make a lot of money, they also feel like they need to spend a lot of money and have like a high standard of living. So they actually spend, they might make, you know, four times as much as the average person, but they spend four and a half times as much as the average person. So a lot of doctors don't really have much money apart. Like they'll have some assets in, you know, their house, their car, but that's about it. I mean, if those things were to go away, they don't actually have much wealth. So anyways, we're going to be showing you what it would take for you to make a million dollars through saving. Now, again, this is for people that are employees that, you know, generally make six figures. And that's, you know, it's not too uncommon for people to make six figures. I know that the average personal income is $32,000. Average household income is about $50,000. So you know, there's a lot of people that make a hundred grand out there, um, including myself. So anyways, we are going to go jump into this right now. So how much per day would you need to save if you wanted to become a millionaire in 10 years? Does anyone have an idea? All right, so I have the numbers here. You would need to make two, you need to save $273 per day just in order to become a millionaire in 10 years. Only, if you were only to do this by saving and you weren't to do any sort of um, investing or, or selling or anything like that. Um, so is the, would, that's actually surprisingly you know, doable for a lot of people that make like 250K a year. And like I know a lot of doctors and surgeons too, they're just too busy. They don't really, they're smart, but they're just too busy. They don't want to invest. They just keep their money in their bank or in a savings account and that's it. That's all they do. And so $273 a day, that's um, more than, that's about twice as much as most people make in a year or in a day, sorry. I mean, doing the math on that, you, you need to put away 100K a year, right? It's simple math. 100K a year equates to $273 per day. So anyways, moving on here, how much would you need to save if you want to become a millionaire in 20 years? So obviously that number is, is um, $50,000 per year, but that also equates to $136 per day. Is that, that's a little bit more doable for some people. Now that this is, that's something doable for most people making a hundred thousand dollars a year. If you can put away half of your income in savings or, or in the bank or whatever. I mean, as long as you live within your means, that's, that's doable. Now this is also after taxes, assuming, um, if you make a hundred thousand dollars, that's assuming it's after taxes. Cause if you, you would be taxed pretty high. I think you would need to make a hundred and what, 150 K in Canada to keep, to make, take home a hundred thousand. So, Anyways, lastly here, we're going to go on to uh, 30 years. Obviously, that's $33,000 $33, you'd have to put away per year, which would equate to $91. $91 per day. Now, that is, that's more doable. This is something that a lot of average or above average households can do. You can save $91 per day if you're smart. I mean, here's, here's what I would do if I wanted to start saving to, to build wealth and not do anything else. You just wanted to save. Very first thing you should do is just find those dumb, dumb, dumb expenses, right? Cut those out immediately. So for a lot of people, it's one of the biggest expenses, sneaky expenses that people don't know about is, is eating out every day. 
Even if it's five or ten dollars at some fast food joint, or it could be the twenty dollars that you eat out, I don't know, once every few days, or it could be the fifty dollars you go out to eat once a week, or you go to the club, or, or buy a bunch of beer, or whatever, right? Though that's what kills your financial future. People think that it's you know the expensive, I don't know, two hundred dollar purse that you buy once a year. No. It's not. It's it's those random like going out to the movies. It's forty bucks every time you go. If you were to go every week, forty dollars a week over the course of an entire year. That's two grand. Think about that for a second. So, very first thing I would do if you wanted to start, you know, saving over time to to and you didn't want to and to invest or build your own business or whatever. You just want to go. This is just for people who want to go do their nine to five. Not have to worry about anything. Not have to talk to bankers. Not have to talk to investors. Not have to worry about if the company's going to fail or whatever. Right? It's just for the strict nine to five workers who like to. Seriously, that's it. Like you go, you wake up at eight, get ready, go to work at by nine, go there, have lunch at around twelve, one o'clock, and then you punch your. You actually work until like four, four thirty, and then you pack up and then you go. Right? That's what most people do. Um, and then you don't have to think about work until the next day. You don't take your work home with you. That this is what that's how you would make a million dollars if you were an employee that didn't really want to do any sort of extra money activity in your life. So it's not for everyone. It's not for me. I could never ever just save money. Like I, I need to do the very. I need to do number one and number three, which I'm going to talk about in the next video. So. Saving is by far the slowest way of the three to actually make a million dollars. I mean, you know, as I you know showed right here, for the average person, it would take 30 plus years for you to to have a, a net worth of over a million dollars if you were to just save, not do anything else. Meanwhile, I've talked about it like it's a lot easier to to make a million dollar company than you would think if you have the drive for it. I mean, in sales, seriously, it's it's so you can do a million dollars in sales in a year. It's very possible. I mean, it's, I'm not saying it's actually easy, but it's it's easier than most people think. I would say if you have the drive for it, which I already said before. So saving slow, saving is something that would take decades. Sales and business is something that could take you know one year. And number three is something that I will say would take years, but not your entire lifetime. I guess. So we're going to talk about number three here. Stay tuned.、Um, I'm going to put the link to the video. Hopefully, it'll, hopefully it'll be on the side. Part three here: How to make a million dollars. And number three is the most common way, and probably the easiest in terms of effort to make a million dollars. So, anyways, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next video.